Today, we're making raspberry coulis. This is a great one for fruit when it's kind of on its way out. Um, and I would say, actually, a lot of fruit desserts are, are that as well, because when fruit is almost on its way out is when it's the highest in sugar and the lowest in water. So raspberries seem to do that very quickly. They get, they're turning into mush and you feel like you don't want to have them, you know, buy the berry anymore. So this is a really fun and extremely easy recipe. I'm not a trained chef. I have a dessert business that I've grown, but I want to say how easy this is because that, if I can do it, I know you can do it too. First thing I'm going to do is I've got these uh, raspberries here and we're going to drop this into the food processor. And I'm just going to follow with some sugar. So let's get that started. I'm going to Lock that up and we're gonna give this a little blend. Just cut it, you know, pretty smooth. Don't need to over blend it. All right. Boom, that's looking good to me. Next step, pour it over and strain it into this bowl. Just get out those little kind of seedy, more granular pieces. So I'm just gonna kind of try to work my way into getting those juicy parts out. So we'll just have a smoother texture. And I gotta say, this is riveting for me. It's a time to really contemplate and reflect on your day. The highs, the lows, all the coulda, shoulda, woulda kind of come out in that coulee, you know? The tears, if you want a little bit of salt, and I'm getting a really pretty color coming out here. So you kind of know when you're getting to the bitter end because all I'm really seeing is seeds. It's like seeds for miles. And meanwhile, if I look under here, I've got this really pretty, just, it looks like kind of like a loose puree. So it's always important to taste as you go. If it's not sweet enough, you could add a little more sugar. You could do a pinch of salt. This could be like a base for a salad dressing, for example. This could even be used in a marinade. You could go on pancakes and waffles. I happen to know it's gonna go great on Cool House ice cream, which is, you know, the best ice cream there is, but you know, just a subtle suggestion. All right, let's do some plating. Double chocolate cookie, cool house. So that's chocolate cookie, almost like a brownie with chocolate chips. Gonna get a nice big round scoop on there. You gotta scoop that ice cream like you do it for a living, cause I do. All right, look at that, I mean. And now I'm just gonna take like a healthy tablespoon and slowly drizzle it over the top. It's gonna go really nice with the vanilla and just, it's really pretty. Let's get that topper on there. Top cookie, here we go. Give it a little smoosh. That's your coolie house ice cream sandwich. See what I did?